the possibility of that is very likely. Um, I, this particular virus is highly contagious is what we've seen and is easily spread from person to person. I, I really don't see it going away anytime soon. This is just a new, you know, strain out there that's, you know, you've heard the term novel, which means new, you know, new to the human population, and that's why it's kind of taken off. And, and partially is a lot of the, the big concern about it as well, because it is new and it is novel. It's, it is a zoonotic virus, so we don't know how to control it yet. And that's something to be, that, that's where the concern is. And that's why we're having, you know, we we're talking about sporting events being canceled classes being canceled uh, because of the unknown factor with this virus. As of right now, we're not 100% sure if pets can pick it up. Uh, we don't know if pets can carry it. However, with that said, you know, it's, it's really good advice that, you know, try not to, if you're sick, not to go up and cuddle or, or snuggle with your animal. And I know when you're sick, that might be what you want to do. However, it's probably not good advice because there's nothing worse than if we get our pet sick, which then could potentially spread it on to other people. You know, there really isn't a concern with the food itself. It's more of the preparer or the person who, be, who may be serving this food. Well, viruses mutate like any other organism. However, in the case of viruses, in the span of time that it's in a person infected, infecting some cells, it'll have many generations within that cell. And a generation pretty much is a lifespan. So it'll have potentially hundreds or maybe even thousands of lifespans.